Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here with a very interesting transit. Mercury's transit in the sign of Libra, Tula Rashi. Very interesting transit because Libra is a great sign for Mercury. Libra is where Mercury can express itself in an excellent way and also because it is lauded by Venus uh, which is bit counterintuitive or you could say which is very strange because the sign where Venus gets exalted which is Pisces uh, Mercury gets debilitated there okay but nonetheless there are some traits uh, of Libra which are extremely conducive so we can expect that we will be able to use Mercury in the best possible way so let's get into the details of what is Libra. Libra is the sign of balance. Uh, actually, it could also be the sign of imbalance. So it can also mean that we need to balance something rather than just uh, saying that it is the sign of balance. It could be balance or imbalance depending on our behavior and our attributes and our consciousness. So this means uh, when any planet is transiting Libra, there will be a greater need for balancing which means you might be tempted to go into extremes now what happens when mercury goes into extremes uh, mercury becomes very obsessed about opinions and uh, mercury becomes very selfish so this is the challenge now the good thing is because everybody will feel this energy so we can bring this uh, energy to our control uh, provided we do proper meditation and we are thoughtful and we are compassionate so for this transit compassion is the word okay and uh, we should also make sure that we uh, we are not exploited by others okay so let's jump into uh, the ascendance okay so let us discuss about Aries first. So what's going on with Aries? So for Aries, your third lord and your sixth lord will transit the seventh house. So what is third house? Third house is your communication. Third house represents your ability to get things done by yourself or maybe even through delegation from others. And it shows what do you want to contribute to this world. That is why it's the house of writing, speaking, social media and all this. And what is the sixth house? The sixth house shows uh, daily routine repetitive work. So for Aries ascendance, Mercury literally represents the planet of communication and uh, daily work. Because for Aries, uh, every lordship is the lordship of the Kalpurush Kundli, right? And now for you, the transit is in the seventh house. Now, what is seventh house? Seventh house is a very interesting house uh, for Aries because the seventh house is uh, the house of Venus, and Libra is, is itself the Multricorn sign of Venus. Okay, so this shows that there could be some uh, issues related to your communication, and uh, there could be some issues related to your daily work, okay, day to day life. Uh, which is somehow impacting your marriage okay so it could be that you might have to take some travel to another place and you know that might create some uh, rifts uh, or it could create some new opportunities for travel also okay and it could be that you are ga gaining good attention uh, in social media from the members of the opposite sex so this is also probable but nonetheless for you uh, if you understand this transit in the best way uh, it will be very good because your mercury will also aspect the ascendant which is aries right from the seventh house so this is a very good time for you to uh, be thoughtful on your upcoming plans and your social media and the kind of work that you are doing uh, but keeping into consideration partnerships and your marriage and relationships in general okay all the best aries so let's jump into Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? Taurus Mercury is a trinal lord, very important planet. He's also the lord of the second house, okay? And he's transiting our sixth house. So this is hands down the best time to focus on money. Not just like uh, normal money, but uh, 
in a sense like to uh, increase your net worth so second house shows your net worth and sixth house shows your active income okay <clears throat> so fifth house also shows learning so if you feel you are not having good source of earnings then please do some side hustle or try to gain some information knowledge about some high income skill the more you do this then the more you will be able to uh, earn more money which is the sixth house and its active income so maybe now you need to balance between your job and your uh, side hustle maybe you you might unknowingly give so much time to your side hustle that you may not uh, be doing your job properly okay which is not very good which i will never recommend okay so learn more and keep a balance and uh, earn more money okay all the best taurus now we go to gemini so gemini lagna lord fourth lord what to speak of you gemini you have your lagna lord transiting in a very good sign transiting in the fourth house in the fifth house okay so the fifth house is the best house in the horoscope so if if your lagnesh is traveling in your fifth house what else do you need in life okay so the fifth house uh, shows your hobbies and your passion so uh, this time uh, is the period where you should focus on developing some new hobbies you know uh, fifth house shows things which you do without any reason okay so what are those things that you do without any reason you know without any consideration of money or wealth time anything it's like you're just doing it spontaneously but this is not just spontaneously uh, but since mercury is also your fourth lord so you are also trying to balance with your education and your uh, knowledge basically okay so learn more do more and don't think of anything just do what you love okay uh, of course this doesn't mean you are doing bad things uh, Ill illegal or <laughs> immoral things but in general if you have something that you love which is allowed then well uh, explore your time okay and try to balance your life between your education and your hobbies and your health of course okay lagnesh in transiting in the fifth also a great time to check out on your health and improve your health if required okay all the best gemini so now let's go to cancer so what's going on with cancer third lord 12th lord transiting in the fourth house very 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 interesting for cancer mercury is the planet of travel okay because the third ninth and twelfth are houses of travel and mercury is ruling both the houses two houses okay among the three so for you this transit is in the fourth house which means you might you might travel for some education related work okay so third lord is entering the fourth house which means some form of travel is coming for in the house of education or it can also show uh, that you are trying to learn something new in your profession because third house uh, shows you know things which you do for some short period of time you know like uh, very very small very short very quick and fourth house shows learning so maybe you have some interview to crack and you are planning to learn some new skill you know that that also could be the case and 12th house shows things which are in the back of your mind so it may be possible that you were thinking to do something from many many months or days or even years and now is the time that you get to implement it okay so great time please utilize this properly okay all the best cancer so now we go to leo simma lagna one of the best planets in your chart the second lord 11th lord exceptionally great for finances and mercury is the karga for finances so now this transit is in your third house so the planet which is controlling your wealth is going into the third house so maybe now is the time that you build your online portfolio so if you have some skill which you can monetize now is the time you start a channel in youtube or instagram page or linkedin page 
or you should have some online presence online is the word for you so the more you go online now the more you will earn money okay so if you are doing things offline please take it online and if required do some travels also but if you use this transit properly you will be able to beautifully uh, plan out your life okay second house is net worth 11th house is like your uh, big income okay so where do you earn big from in life so try to take that to social media try to share content third house is where you share what you have with the world so share your content don't keep it with yourself okay and this will be the best time uh, for these like around two weeks okay all the best leos so now let's go to virgo what's going on virgo lagnesh and 10th lord the best planet for your name fame power position both the houses show name and fame okay and is transiting your second house so this second house is the house of net worth so just like i said for leo and taurus even for virgo it is very important that you focus on your profession exclusively on your profession and you also keep a note on how much assets do you have and where have you allocated them so for example if you have too much money uh, maybe in stocks you know maybe you can see uh, if you could diversify it a bit into you know like real estate and some other things or i mean of course i'm not a financial advisor but i'm trying to tell you that maybe even if you don't diversify into other areas maybe within the stocks you can see you know what is their blue chip or like you know whatever it is like you know different uh, type of companies you know some are like growing very fast some are growing slow so you need to uh, diversify and have your assets spread out so that if there is some danger then you can uh, always rely on some other asset okay at the same time uh, when you see that something is going good then you can all, always invest more in that okay nothing wrong with it but nonetheless you need to get a rebalance of your portfolio and if you are not earning if you don't have any net worth then uh, try to see if you can earn some money from somewhere okay if required or else second house also shows education so if you are a student then you can always focus on your studies okay okay so now we go to libra so for libra lagna just like cancer mercury is ruling two travel houses ninth lord 12th lord so for libra lagna this transit of ninth lord 12th lord is in your lagna itself so this this is this clearly indicates that there is some travel on cards okay so it could be state travel national travel or maybe inter country travel also and because the ninth lot shows education and gurus so it, it could also happen that you meet some prominent spiritual personality or you visit some spiritual community this this during this period because the ninth lot is coming to you this literally does not mean that the guru will come to you it could also mean you are going close to the guru okay <coughs> But nonetheless, uh, best time for spiritual progress, uh, excellent time for travel, excellent time for learning, excellent time for getting to know different cultures, different languages. So if you want to start some language course, this is the best time you should start it. And Mercury in general, when it transits the ascendant, uh, it always gives a great social life. Okay. <coughs> so if you have this transit in the first house well then go and socialize meet like-minded people and elevate yourself spiritually and materially also all right libras so now we go to scorpio so what's going on scorpio 8th lord 11th lord 8th house is unearned money 11th house is gains okay now this is very peculiar because this transit is happening in the 12th house now what is 12th house 12th house is actually the house of losses or expenses now you might be thinking oh it's the same right loss and expenditure well certainly not 
see loss is a loss there is no doubt on it there is no debate but expense can be a legitimate expense also right like business expense you know you <clears throat> you want to do something in your business and you you do it very seriously you do it in a committed fashion but you need to hire you need to delegate you need to um, get back your time okay so for scorpio if you are a business owner this is the perfect time to delegate so because this is transit is in the 12th house so you will anyways lose some money okay so <clears throat> if you need to get it get things done from somebody you can do that okay provided it's not illegal for you okay and 12th house in general can show uh, you are doing donate giving donation so if you have money uh, surplus or even if you don't have if you want to donate then this is the best time so travel to some distant place uh, give donations uh, wherever you find appropriate and also focus on your business expenses okay try to grow your business and i'm sure you will do excellent all right let's go to sagittarius so sagittarius 7th lord 10th lord transiting in the 11th house the the best time for your career excellent this is stupendous 10th lord transiting the 11th out of the world no other word for you so if you want that big dream job maybe this is the time to apply mercury will teach you very fast you know like what what are the things that you should know for the interview what are the things you should know for the company best time so depending on your mahadasha and antardasha you will make stupendous progress so please do not waste time please understand that this is, is very rare and you you will not get this every day you know you are just getting it for how many days maybe 18 uh, 19 days and that's it <clears throat> so use this time to do something big in your profession not just normal you know i'll find this job that job no try to learn some new technology which will like set you apart from everybody else or try to learn more about money try to learn how you can earn money from where try to learn why i'm saying money because 11th house is money and mercury is also money okay so there is no second opinion on this and uh, there's no need of a elaborate description it's just that you need to do big things in life when this transit is there so 10th lord in 11th well the best and seventh house also is the bhavad bhavam of the tenth house which is you know 10th from the 10th so it also shows your status because any planet in the seventh aspects the lagna so excellent time use this properly for your profession okay all the best sagittarius now we go to capricorn what's going on capricorn sixth lord ninth lord transiting the tenth house tenth house name fame power position authority so now is the time that you take up some big challenge in your profession okay so similarly like for sagittarius even for capricorn if you have plans in your profession to do something big then do it <clears throat> and now if you are in it you want to shift from a developer to a manager role or a team lead architect role you know it's the best time for you to do it so 10th house shows people who don't do the work but they tell others what to do but for you uh, mercury is also the sixth lord so you will always have to do something on the other okay so therefore uh, mercury is also the karaka for the 10th house so this is the best time for you to learn some skill you know 10th house also shows skill name fame and the more you are skillful the more you are learn the more you will earn okay so please exclusively focus on your work and you will make it big depending on your mahadasha and antardasha and because mercury is also the ninth lord so there is some learning and coaching consulting which is also coming so this is not like you coaching somebody but you getting coached by someone else okay <coughs> so if there's anything that you uh, can do to get knowledge from somebody then please do it okay excellent time 
ओके एक्सीलेंट 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 सो ऑल द बेस्ट के प्रिकॉन ऑल राइट एक्वेरियस फिफ्थ लॉर्ड एथ लॉर्ड ट्रिमेंडस क्रिएटिविटी ट्रांजिटिंग इन द नाइन्थ हाउस ऑफ लर्निंग सो दिस ट्रांजिट इज ऑल अबाउट लर्निंग द हायर ट्रूथ्स ऑफ लाइफ If you want to go and learn Bhagavad Gita from some spiritual guru uh, in a nearby spiritual community, this is like this is the best thing you can do. Okay, so learn, uh, earn, and uh, you can also elevate your consciousness. Okay, and when I say learn and earn, I don't mean money, but uh, you learn and you earn spiritual merits. Okay. and also try to find some creativity and try to discover yourself because your trinal lord is transiting another trine so fifth lord is a trinal lord and ninth house is a trinal house <coughs> so excellent time for you to find your life purpose okay try to find who you are and eighth house shows things which you generally don't know about yourself okay it's like you know it deep down inside but you don't accept it so eighth lord transiting the ninth if there is something which you need to know need to learn then uh, about yourself then please explore you know get guidance take surveys uh, go into the internet and find and you will discover yourself okay so this is a period of self discovery for you discover your talents your hobbies and your unknown fears okay all the best all right now we go to pisces pisces fourth lord seventh lord transiting in the eighth house so this is a situation where you are going deep into research fourth lord transiting eighth house research 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 now what kind of research is it is it just that you are uh, learning something or are you doing some certification or are you just studying something no it doesn't mean that it, it means whatever you are doing in life either it's your health you need to research okay if you are trying to lose weight or gain weight or make yourself more healthy you need to do research what do ex for people in uh, weight training or cardio or dieting what do they say right you will have to find everything in context of your profession also and in terms of your marriage also you know maybe if your marriage is not working why is it not working so you are trying to do research and educate yourself in every area of your life okay so the more you do this the more you will actually understand that you are able to find so many deep insights about yourself that you never knew and in this your spouse can also help you okay because the seventh lord is transiting the eighth and in a sense it could be also a good time to uh, associate with your in-laws you know so maybe you can visit them have a nice time with them okay So nonetheless, for Pisces, learn and do research and grow in every area that you are. Okay, thank you.